Now let us see what are the conditions. which should exist for combustion to happen. Okay, so the first thing is you have to have a combustible substance. Now, if you have wood, it would burn. If you have sand, it would not burn. So the first and the foremost thing is, there has to be a combustible substance. If there is no combustible substance, like wood or kerosene or LPG or whatever it is, there is no combustion that can take place. Second is, you have to have the supporter of combustion pellet. Now what does this mean? We told you earlier that, you know, the process of burning of a substance with air or oxygen is known as combustion. So, air or oxygen are necessary for combustion to take place and these are known as supporter of combustion. So, if there is no air or oxygen, then combustion cannot take place. It has to be there without which Combustion cannot take place. And the third one is ignition temperature. Now, each of these substances which we have looked at, you know, burns at a minimum temperature. And this temperature differs between different objects. So, let's say you have wood, you have oil, you have nylon, okay. Now, if you know or you would have noticed, nylon catches fire very easily. Okay? Even oils, let's say something like a petrol, catches fire very easily. While a wood, depending on what state it is, the time wood takes is more than the time taken by oil and nylon. So the temperature, ignition temperature is what? Is the temperature, individual temperature, individual temperature of substance at which it starts burning. So the ignition temperature of petrol and nylon is normally less while that of wood is a little high or I mean wood may not be a correct example because that, that depends on the quality of wood as well but normally what will happen is that these are more easily susceptible to combustion and are also known as for that reason inflammable substance. Okay.